Good morning, everybody. This is Diggs. It's another beautiful day out here in the Pacific Northwest. And everybody, let me tell you, triple gill snappers are fucking here. Let's go ahead and dig in. All right, y'all. We got a lot going on. We got triple gill snappers. We have trials of reckoning still to farm this week. And then we also have going on for two weeks till the 28th. We have Raid Boss Revival, which if you're a new player, if you're someone who maybe missed out on a raid back in the day, this is going to be one of the most important events for you to farm. And all you're going to need is a 120 Tifa. Uh, 120 Tifa, according to Meso Mink, who is a JP player, can solo three out of four of these multi-missions. And uh, that's all you're going to need. So get ready because you're going to be doing like you... Everybody thought they were farming Trials of Reckoning this week. And out of nowhere, this curveball came. And you know, this didn't come until the one and a half year anniversary on JP side. So it's crazy we're getting it early, which means we're probably going to get some stuff next week as well. But this is huge. Paired with triple gill snappers, you're literally going to be farming potentially this or Trials of Reckoning. Thankfully, it's a multi-week event, so you could like finish Trials of Reckoning and then farm triple gill snappers over the weekend. And then you could do the raid boss revival the week after, assuming nothing comes out with Tomb Raider. I'm assuming since this is coming out this week, we'll probably get the uh, Leonis Castle or the Leonis Valley Tower event next week. But yeah, there is going to be lots to farm. Uh, you're going to be able to get all of the raid items that you have missed uh that's going to be any of these items basically you can farm the multis uh and you get raid medals from the multis you can farm a multi chocolate flan white marshmallow if or behemoth again 120 tifa can solo some of these so you can just solo and get the medals that way lots of shit. so if you want if you're a newer player purple lightning elf's cloak i'm going to do a video on all of this stuff so that you know what gear is important, what the priority is, uh, so that you kind of get up to speed with the game. Now, besides the triple drops, we do have the part four anniversary countdown, uh, which of course is going to be Laswell shards. We'll get some Laswell summons as well. Uh, pretty much it's going to be NRG, event skip tickets, the usual type of thing. Friend gift campaign, always great. Uh, always need the friend medals because that's going to be triple what they normally are. Uh, triple item drop campaign is all week long, starting on the 15th. Uh, it's also going to count for like EXP cubes and, you know, that kind of thing that you're going to be doing. So this is huge. You're going to be farming a lot of these missions. And you should definitely be doing the triple gill snapper every day. Um, this is a huge amount of gill. Uh, on average, with 42 large NRG pots, I average about 180 million per day on the gill snapper farming event. So keep in mind that's almost 1.3. Hold on. Yeah, it's almost about 1.3 billion gill that I would be able to farm over the course of two days in this event, uh, which is a crazy ass amount of gill. You're also going to get Staff Katana Dagger. Nobody's going to be farming this. You're literally going to be farming Raid Boss Revival into Triple Gill Snappers or Trials of Reckoning all week long. We are like in a grind week like no other. With all of this to the side, Laswell's vision card is going to be coming out, and he is going to get some global exclusive bonuses that are very powerful. Uh, his global exclusive bonus for him as the individual unit is going to give luck up and defense piercing rate up. Uh, in terms of what it does for the party, uh, it gives individual ice type units attack plus 30%. And then party wide, it gives agility up, acquired AP up. And when it's maxed out, it gives man eater plus 25 uh, to ice units. So it is a very powerful vision card. And I should say that party wide ability is also ice units only. So this is going to be, you know, potentially with Fryevia either coming out later this week as part of like a Brave Exvius Summit event or with Fryevia's vision card, uh, we could potentially see some type of nice meta depending on what Fryevia's VC is. Uh, so I'm really excited to kind of, you know, maybe Laswell will be a little bit more viable than uh, 
he already is, you know? Uh, so you will get the vision card hard quest. There will, of course, get challenge missions for this vision card. Uh, Laswell EX will come out. If you guys are wondering what Laswell EX does, he basically gets another cast of Mirage. Uh, he gets a cross-shaped ability, 165x modifier with a 25% chance to land blind. It also has range height one, AOE height one. And then he also gets a 45% modifier on, I think it's purple flash. Um, so overall, pretty good. Um, we'll also be getting double JP for him in the barracks and all of that. But the big thing, the big surprise here is the raid boss revival. And I think, you know, a lot of people are going to have questions on this. A lot of people are going to want to know what to farm. Uh, the biggest advice I have for you, if you don't have Tifa 120, get Tifa 120. Uh, especially if you are a new player, because you will be able to farm this event and you will be able to get these items that are highly coveted. And you will be able to maybe not max them all out because you're going to need books in order to do that, right? You're going to need crafting books, but you will get the recipes, which is the most important thing, right? And that is what you are going to need. You may be able to get some materials as well. I imagine there will be different materials for each fight. Uh, we'll definitely be going into the details on that probably in my video later today because I think it's really important to get this stuff out there, uh, especially for new players. So, uh, thanks so much you guys for watching um that's pretty much all we have right now it was a 100 megabyte update that came today so we might get something more in the data mine uh potentially over the next day or so i don't think tomb raider's been loaded already but you never know um if you do want to support me uh you can use my affiliate link dig.gs coins or dig.gs offer you can also become a youtube member because i am streaming on youtube now so you could do uh dig.gs member as well and support me that way uh thank you so much for watching you guys and have a great rest of your day